Joining the Nightingales might feel epic. The cool armour, the oathed nocturnal, and the secret hideout all make this secret society seem pretty cool. However, there are some good reasons why you shouldn't join the Nightingales, even if you do want the cool armour. The Nightingales are a trinity of highly skilled thieves, usually from the Thieves Guild, who dedicate themselves to the service of the Daedric Prince Nocturnal, whose sphere of influence is secrecy, thieving and shadows. Upon first glance, it seems like Nightingales get a pretty good deal. In return for protecting the Twilight Sepulchre and the Skeleton Key, they are granted powers that they can use for whatever they wish. Nocturnal offers three agent abilities to her Nightingales. The Agent of Subterfuge is granted the power to cloud the judgement of others once a day. The Agent of Stealth is allowed to become invisible for 120 seconds a day. And lastly, the Agent of Strife is granted the ability to instantly absorb 100 health points from someone once a day. However, these boons are awful in comparison to what the Nightingales promise Nocturnal in the long term, because their role is extremely long term. To become a Nightingale, you have to promise to enter Nocturnal's eternal service. So after you die, you won't go to your rest as most other mortals would, whilst other Nords, for instance, might go to drink and fight in Sovngarde. A Nightingale will be patrolling the dingy Twilight Sepulchre or another of Nocturnal Shrines eternally. Nocturnal does vaguely promise, though, to eventually allow her dead Nightingales to enter her realm of oblivion as a sort of afterlife. But even that isn't a good prospect. Nocturnal's realm of oblivion, called Evergloam, is a marshy, dark, cold plain of oblivion and hardly a place worth a visit. Let's face it, if you're going to dedicate your life to a Daedric Prince, it wouldn't be nocturnal, especially when there are other Daedric Princes such as Meridia. Meridia is known as the Glister Witch, and her sphere of influence is actually quite obscure. She seems to be one of the least evil Daedric Princes, and she has a passionate hate for the undead. In return for your service, she'll give you Dawnbreaker, a unique, and pretty sick looking sword, and won't force you to swear eternal allegiance to her or anything like that. I mean, even Sherogarath is a better Daedric Prince to serve than Nocturnal. You get the Wabajak in return for doing a pretty funny quest, and the Wabajak is actually quite OP if it works to your favour. Another obvious reason to betray Nocturnal and the potential of becoming a fully fledged Nightingale is because of the Skeleton Key. Although you might have to don the armour and become a Nightingale to get access to the quest where you steal the Skeleton Key, by taking the Skeleton Key, I'd say you're not really one of the Nightingales, because a tenant of the Order is that you're supposed to protect the key. I guess you'd sort of become like Mercer Frey, in that, whilst he's supposed to be a Nightingale, he isn't in actuality. And the Skeleton Key is without a doubt one of the best Daedric artefacts ever. No wonder Mercer Frey stole it and betrayed his vows. You can essentially open any lock in game because it's an unbreakable lockpick. It doesn't matter how bad you are at lockpicking, you can just spam the lock until you get in. And more than just being able to open normal locks, Mercer Frey shows that you can open ancient Nord doors which normally require a golden claw or a similar claw to open. Another reason why it's not necessary to join the Nightingales is because the Thieves Guild and the Nightingale Trinity are not actually officially linked. Just because the highest ranking members of the Thieves Guild have tended to be Nightingales in the last decade or so, doesn't actually mean that to be the leader, you have to be a Nightingale. It's more a matter of coincidence than anything else. The best thieves tend to become leaders of the guild and are often picked as nocturnal servants. So despite what you may think, in canon you could become the leader of the thieves guild and yet not be a nightingale and have to pledge your soul to nocturnal. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave suggestions for future videos you want me to do in the comments section below. I'd like to thank my patrons for supporting my channel they really do help out. Also, I plan on continuing the Idiot and Genius series, so if you have any suggestions for those types of videos, then leave them in the comments below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.